Hello everyone. Welcome to the Hexabot channel. Today, we're going to explore a critical maintenance skill how to check if a motor winding is burnt. If your motor fails to start, smells burnt, or keeps tripping the breaker, there's a high chance the winding is damaged. Let's find out how to test it properly. Common symptoms include motor doesn't start even when power is present, burnt smell or light smoke, circuit breakers or contactors keep tripping, motor casing feels overheated. These are early signs that the stator winding may be shorted, broken, or grounded. Three-phase motors have windings arranged 120 degrees apart for phases A, B, and C. When energized, they create a rotating magnetic field that drives the rotor. If a winding is burnt or shorted, the magnetic field fails, and the motor won't operate correctly. How to check for burnt windings. Using a multimeter resistance test. Set the multimeter to ohms. Measure between terminals. AMO V W. If all values are similar, OK. If one reads zero or infinite, that winding is damaged. Using a MEGAR insulation resistance test, connect one probe to any phase, the other to the motor casing ground. If result less than one MOGO short to ground. If rest than 10 MOGO normal insulation. Visual and smell check. Remove the motor cover and look for blackened wires, melted insulation, strong burnt smell. Common causes of burnt windings. Phase loss or voltage imbalance. Running the motor overloaded for long periods. Faulty thermal protection or no overload relay. Cooling fan failure. Moisture or contamination inside the motor. Tips to prevent motor winding failure. Ensure stable three-phase supply. Use thermal overload relays. Perform regular inspections. Cleaning. Avoid continuous overloading. Keep motor environment clean, dry. In summary, checking for a burnt motor winding involves resistance test, insulation test, visual and smell inspection. Early detection helps avoid costly damage, downtime. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, share with your friends and colleagues. Next time, we'll show you how to wire a motor in star delta configuration and how to troubleshoot common startup failures. Thank you for watching.